Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade your NVMe SSD drive in your HP laptop. So if you're looking to upgrade the capacity to increase the capacity, then this video will walk you through step by step replacing the NVMe drive. Therefore, you would have larger capacity. Now, there are a couple of things that you want to make consideration before you do the upgrade. The question is to ask yourself, are you planning to clone the hard drive, meaning that you're going to clone the, assuming this is your original drive, this, this is the one that is in the computer, assuming this is the original, and you're trying to clone it over to the new drive, or you're just planning to change it out, meaning that remove the original drive, replace with the larger NVMe drive and installing a fresh Windows in it. So there are two ways to do it. One is to clone it over to keep all your programs, your settings, your data, everything over to clone it identical to the new NVMe. Therefore, you do need to have this USB adapter. This USB adapter allows you to plug it in like so insert into the side of your laptop and then you're going to use a software which I use Acronis to clone everything over to that drive. Now I make a separate video for that. In this video we are not going to do the cloning process. You might want to check the link in the description below where I walk you through step by step on how to make the clone together. Okay. Now in this video like I said we are just strictly replacing the NVMe drive to a larger one, then you have a larger capacity, okay? So let's get going with this. I just wanted to point it out, at least you get the uh, an idea before you went ahead and tried to upgrade and realize that the computer doesn't have the windows in it, right? So, all right, so let's jump into the process. Uh, apologize for the long intro here. And I uh, just wanted to point out to you that you might want to check the model number here. So this model is HP17-CN0023DX. That is the model of this laptop, 17 inch. All right, so the first thing I like to do is to go ahead and pry open the uh, plastic cover here. So this plastic here is, is covering up some of the screws. We need to remove the screws uh, to get to the back plate but before we can do that uh, definitely we need to uh, uh, remove this rubber so this rubber uh, stopper prevent you from sliding the laptop you need to remove that I believe you need to remove the bottom one as well so once you remove the top and bottom let's just put them on the side Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using the electric screwdriver here. If you're interested, uh, check the link in the description below. I'll link them everything that you can buy from either Amazon or eBay, as well as the uh, the SSD drive, um, the larger capacity drive. I'll link them in the description below as well. So we have removed all the screws. The next step is to pry open the back cover. What I like to do is I like to stay in between the plastic here. So if you find the uh, the corner between the palm rest and the back cover. So let's go ahead and start prying it open.
Okay, let's see if we can uh, we go a little bit and get everything up. Okay, so once you have removed the back cover, you can immediately see the entire laptop here. So just do a quick walkthrough. This is your battery, two DDR4 RAM, and this is the uh, NVMe drive. Okay, so to remove the NVMe drive, get your Phillips screwdriver, remove that screw. Lift it up at about 45 degree or less than that. Slide it down towards your body. So slide it down towards yourself. So again, this is the original um, 256 gigabyte NVMe drive, SSD drive. So if you want to increase the capacity, then you can insert um, the new one here. So let's say you slide it in. Okay. And put the screw back together. And the back cover you just have to press it down to crunch the clipper back together and do not forget all the screws so it's pretty much very straightforward by increasing the uh, uh, by replacing the NV NVMe SSD drive However, so the point is that now you just install a brand new uh, NVMe SSD drive. When you turn on the computer, it wouldn't boot because there's no operating system. So you might have to buy uh, this USB Windows installer from Amazon or you can create one for free um, going through the Microsoft website. I make a separate video for how to create a USB bootable the free version um, you can just download from Microsoft website uh, you want to go ahead and check that out if you're not sure what to do or how to do it just you can buy one of these from Amazon and once you have this arrived what you want to do is just insert into the uh, the computer turn on the computer and do the fresh Windows install in a fresh brand new NVMe drive Alright, so I hope this video is helpful to you and uh, if you find the video is helpful, please uh, smash the like button for me and I really appreciate you for liking the video and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you for subscribing as well. Okay, if you have any question regarding about computer, comment below so I do reach a comment and I'll answer those comments um, as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.